Good evening. Thanks for joining us. The high school football playoffs kicked off without fans tonight in Franklin. Police also stepped up security over what the district called an ongoing but non-specific investigation involving a player from Kenosha Bradford. Megan Lee is live outside the football stadium tonight in Franklin where disappointed spectators spectators were turned away. Megan. Charles, you can only imagine what the stands would look like here at Franklin High School for a playoff game against Kenosha Bradford, especially on a beautiful night like tonight. However, that wasn't the case. The Friday night lights were glowing in the distance at Franklin High School before the 7 o'clock kickoff against Kenosha Bradford. However, parents and fans were not allowed in for the big playoff game. It's incredibly disheartening, uh, disappointing. Jesse Miller was hoping to watch his son, Chase Miller, a senior at Franklin, under the Friday night lights. He texted and just said that parents and fans can't come. However, he turned his typical pre-home game tailgate into a watch party due to the circumstances. Fans had to cheer from a distance. According to the Franklin School District, this change of plans is due to an ongoing investigation involving a player from Kenosha Bradford. Incredibly frustrating, and I understand, listen, at, at, anytime something like this pops up, safety first. According to Kenosha Bradford, none of their players are under investigation. That leaves Jesse Miller wondering why the decision to not let fans in was made. And where do we draw the line? What's the end? So no fans? Should we cancel the game? Should we shut down all of Franklin? Should we close down the interstate? I mean, at what point do you draw the line of what's reasonable safety? Spectators weren't the only ones missing from the game. Let's go Franklin! The cheerleaders, dance team, and band had to watch from afar as well. As a senior, just kind of counting down your last game, so it's just kind of sad to get one of the last ones taken away from us. Caitlin Anzac says this was a major game everyone was looking forward to especially the seniors. It's someone's last game, so it's sad for either team not to have any fans there. All right, Charles, I did reach out to both schools as well as the police, and I have not heard back or gotten any con con clarification on this incident. But as always, if we get that information, we will have that on TMJ4.com or let you guys know. And as far as the game goes, Franklin, they won, and they're looking to continue this streak in the playoffs, this winning streak. But Lance Allen's going to have more of that information coming up. Live in Franklin, Megan Lee, TMJ4 News. All right, Megan, thanks.